If I want to speak specifically about my dojo, I really encourage them not to worry so much about the specifics of techniques. Because people coming in, half the time I spend, for a beginner, just introducing them to their own bodies. It's amazing how sometimes, you know, left and right, they're not even that automatic with it, or that the tension is, is so much there that you just have to have them relax in the dojo environment. Um, and when I start to see that they are getting more comfortable wearing a uniform that they don't wear outside, and that they are comfortable with the feeling of the mat and even barefoot, then I start from literally from the bottom up to have them start any of their falls from the floor so there's no fear. And then gradually, and I tell them, there's no rush. When you're ready, you'll know because you'll start to elevate yourself gradually. I don't even have to tell you that. And also, also of course, not to do anything that they're, not, that they're uncomfortable with. Because once you introduce discomfort, there's a fine line between growing because of discomfort and restricting yourself and actually inhibiting your, your progress because you're so uncomfortable with either the idea of something or the feeling of it. So I normally try to match a beginner depending on how they come into the dojo. And I try to match where they are physically. And then I try to get them comfortable. So mentally, I don't have to, you know, I don't have to smooth the, uh, smoothen the way because they actually relax and the body changes because of it. So in a way, I approach them from a mental perspective and from a physical perspective, depending on where they are, how they come in. And also to be open, just to be open to what we're doing. You know, they invested their time and their energy to arrive at the dojo. And I ask them, just regardless of what background you have, just open yourself to what's happening here. And, um, you know, we'll guide you through, but just Oh, keep yourself, keep your mind open so that you don't have any predispositions to what's going on. And to bring some either previous luggage, <laughs> baggage with the movement, or to have a, to, to predict what's happening.